Hi everyone, it's Lindsay and I am super excited to be back on the Imagine Crafts channel sharing how to make sparkle backgrounds. There are a few different ways I'm going to show you, but in each of them I'm going to be using this sparkle embossing powder from Imagine. This is a clear embossing powder with sparkle in it. So any color you put underneath it is going to show through. You're just going to add that sparkle on top, which is great. So the first way I want to show you is with some pigment inks. I'm going to create myself a mask to make a nice mask background and I am using this die from Cat Scrappiness. This is a full A2 size and I'm running it through my die cut machine to cut some masking paper. Now once I have that cut, it is going to come out looking crazy. <laughs> this is one of those ones where it's kind of a pain to push out all the little pieces. However, whenever you're using something like this where it's basically just a sticker, you don't have to do that. All you need to do is take off the top of it and all those little pieces are going to stay behind on your backing sheet. And if any do come off, you can quickly poke those out or remove them once you put them on your background. So I've got an A2 size panel. I'm going to line up my mask and place that right over the top. One thing I would suggest doing before you put your mask down, especially at this size of a mask, is de-stick it a little bit if you're using an extra sticky mask like I am. But if you're using a regular mask, uh, like Inka Dinka Do masking paper, that should be just fine without any de-sticking. Now once I had that down, I'm going to go ahead and use my blending brushes and blend on some pigment ink. I am using the Versifying Claire pigment inks. These are gorgeous when they blend together. It's going to look a little crazy over this mask because I need certain parts of it to make sure it goes through the mask. They look at a little bit darker. The parts that are end up on the mask, it just looks crazy. It's going to look like a mess. Keep working with it. I promise it will come together. So for my colors, I'm using Verdant. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Green Oasis and Rainforest. I started with the lightest in the center and worked my way towards the dark, darkest on the edges. Now, once I have those ink blended on, I need to kind of move a little bit quickly. These are pigment inks. They will stay wet a little bit longer, but you don't want to wait too long and then your embossing powder won't stick. So I'm going to carefully remove my mask. I use my tweezers to get a little help starting it out. And I'll just peel that right up. And I've got this gorgeous ink blended background. But I'm going to take it even one step further with this. On the top of that, because this is a pigment ink, it's going to stay nice and wet. I can add that sparkle embossing powder right over the top of it. I'm going to cover the entire background with this. Now this is again a clear embossing powder that has a holographic sparkle in it. It is so pretty. So I'll sprinkle that over the entire background and then I'm going to heat set it off camera. This is super easy to heat set with glitter embossing powders. I like to start underneath first a little bit, kind of get those glitters sealed in so I don't have glitter flying all over my craft room. Now there is a closer look at that sparkle background all ready to go. To finish this card off, I kept it super simple. I die cut hugs each individual letter from an alphabet die set and I die cut them three times from white cardstock and once from some toner paper. That is going to allow me to do a little bit of foiling. It may not look like it's foiled when it's done, but it will be. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue. I am using the on point glue to layer up each one of those white letters. Then before I add my top toner letter, I'm going to go ahead and add some foil. I wanted these to be black, but I wanted them to have shine to them. So I decided to go ahead and grab some of my black foil. I don't use this often, but it's one of those products where I'm really glad to have it on hand whenever it's time to use it. It's just a really nice black with shine to it. So I die cut those letters from the toner. I've got my laminator nice and hot. I'm going to layer these up in my little sandwich of paper. So I've got my letters, toner facing up. Then I've got my foil, shiny side facing up, silver side facing down. I'll pull those out and let them cool off. Then I can go ahead and remove them from the foil 
And there is that black letter with the nice shine to it all ready to go on the card. This is a great way to get the look of a black sentiment but still have that shine on it. So I went ahead and added those on top of my white letters, put those onto the card panel and attach the card panel to an A2 side folding card base. And that is the card. Super duper easy and simple and very, very quick. Now, Let's move on to the next kind of sparkle background we're going to do, and that is with dye inks. We don't all have pigment inks, or sometimes we just don't want to mess with them, but dye inks are very popular. I'm going to be using the Memento Dew Drops for this, and I'm going to keep with that same green theme on the background. I'm using my blending brushes again to blend through a stencil. For my colors, I am using pistachio and olive grove. I'm keeping the pistachio towards the center, which is my lighter color, and working my way towards that darker olive grove on the edges, just like I did on the first one. Now, once I have these blended on, it's a super simple process from here. But you may be thinking, you're using dye inks, you can't heat emboss with dye inks, these dry too fast, and that is all true. However, you can layer dye inks really, really well, and you can layer more inks over the top of them, and they're not going to move because they soak into the fibers of the paper. So I'll go ahead and finish up my ink blending, and once I have it ink blended, I'm going to go ahead and remove my stencil. The one thing I don't want to do is contaminate my next ink pad with ink over the top of the stencil. And luckily, stencils are very easy to line back up right over the top of something you've already stenciled. So go ahead and take that extra step. Take it off. Give it a wipe down. It doesn't take much to get this off the stencil. I'm just using a damp baby cloth for this. And then I'll go ahead and give it a good dry as well. You don't want to get your dye inks wet. They will move around a little bit with water. So I'll go ahead, clean that off, let it dry for a few seconds, and then position it right back over the top of where it was. This, it's really easy to do that. All you need to do is line it up on the first side, then go to the next side and kind of line it up, and keep your tape on the back. Then once I have that positioned over the top and secured right back in place, I'm going to grab my Versamark ink pad and smush it directly through the stencil. I don't have to worry about contaminating it because I cleaned my stencil and just smush that ink right through. Versamark ink is a clear sticky ink, so it's going to give you that nice hold for the embossing powder. Then I can take off my stencil and put my sparkle embossing powder right over the top. Again, this isn't going to change the color at all. If anything, it will intensify it. It'll just give it that nice shine and create that nice sparkly background. I am doing this over a piece of computer paper. And again, I'm pouring straight from the bag right onto the paper. Then I'll go ahead and fold that paper, put it all right back into the bag. There's a look at this background all done. It is so sparkly and fun. And your glitter is trapped in that embossing powder, so it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get on your hands and all over your work surface. To finish this card off, I kept it really simple. I layered up a few Hello die cuts in the same color of cardstock that I used on the background, or a same a matching cardstock of ink that I used on the background. I also put that on a little flag banner and popped that up onto the center of the card. I attached that panel to a card base, which is A2 top folding, and then to give that a little bit more pop away from the background, I added some irresistible over that hello die in sparkle. And that finished off that card. This one was super easy too. I wanted to keep the focus on the backgrounds today and all that sparkly goodness from the sparkle emboss. Here's a closer look at both finished cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy crafting everyone!